Well, he went away to the Army, boot camp, all the rough stuff. But during that time, he found some pen pals at a senior center. Today, he met his elder friends. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross was there. Hope to see all of you soon. Some letters at the green fields of Geneva. No problem. Are more special than others. Can't wait to laugh about wild memories. John O'Connell reads one message. Today for a workout, I had to hike three miles with a 60 pound pack. A letter describing physical pain, but character building bravado. The author, a fraction of his age, but about to be fully appreciated for his penmanship Flags up. and patriotism. Mason Oaksema received a hero's welcome from the people at the independent living residence he worked at. They see the newly minted Marine serving his country, who for a time was serving the meals. Waited on tables and so forth. What's it like getting this kind of welcome? It's really good. It's really, it's, it really warms my heart because uh, I was here for two years or so, and uh, I, I miss them every single day. He dished out food there, becoming close with those calling it home. Ashley Hoaxima felt the call to join the Marines. He began the process of boot camp in California as part of the 1021 Bravo Company. He called the process both painful and powerful. Texts and calls weren't allowed there, so he began to write. It's just the bond that you make while serving people. I mean, every, every one of the residents here is like family. The Marines are part of the Navy. We're just like brothers. O'Connell served in the Navy and took pride in Hoaxima's journey into the military, writing back and forth with words of encouragement. You feel demoralized, but every single letter it gives you a, a bit more hope. Hoxima says he's written dozens of letters to residents here. It helped him get through his rigorous training and helped him get through a potentially deadly virus. I got COVID. However, I feel fine. Was quarantined until August 2nd. All the letters really helped. So tell everyone, thank you. Words helping a young man who helped others with many looking forward to what he writes in his next chapter of service. Jeremy Ross, CBS2 News.